Halo fans are really, really are some of the saddest people I think I've ever seen. Holy shit. People, I don't know if they're leaking it. I guess there, there's leaks of it. Of, like, the forge mode and co-op mode. And they're completely forgetting about the fact that it took them, uh, what, like an entire year and a half before they've decided to actually bring it into the, the game. Like, and we're just gonna forget about that because it's cool. No, not Halo 6. Halo Infinite. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's just depressing. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, let me read some of it. If I can find, find it again. Let me see here. Halo Infinite. Uh, somebody named Rebs Gaming is just spam posting stuff about Halo right now. Um, Halo Forge effects settings. Uh, just showing off different stuff. Uh, Halo Leaks showing off stuff. Halo Infinite co-op changes everything. It's the same thing that you could do before, but now you can do it with a person. Forge material customization gameplay. Uh, basically, these people who are probably being paid to leak this information. Uh... The mind stuff is in. That new version of Forge is going to be the game changer for Halo. No, I, it's going to be very nice. It could have been in the game a lot earlier, considering how much money Microsoft makes. So, uh, it's just a. I, I feel it's so like this person is fucking paid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they're game- they're, they do gaming leaks. How often have they been posting about Halo stuff? Halo Infinite com- concept art. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Halo 5 pre-production. Fuck is this? Halo 5 Guardians concept UI. Cool. And then, yeah, Rockstar Games. Rockstar Games shutting down its online service for... Or probably not shutting it down, but not gonna support any new updates for the game. Probably ever, because it didn't make them money. So... <laughs> Fuck our fans. Hi! People who, who, who made us have uh, fuck them. <laughs> People will buy our shit anyways. I'm bitter. I'm full of bitter hatred. But more GTA 6. I almost don't want to buy GTA 6 out of just the sheer fact that I don't support them. Even if it's going to be a phenomenal game and it's just one of the best games ever created, that doesn't excuse their actions towards their community. Constantly. It's like, cool dude. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine without me buying anything from them anytime soon. Because fuck them. Let's charge $80 for the same game that we've been selling for... Five years since 2015. Actually, since 2013, so eight years. Almost eight years of GTA 5. <laughs> we'll get them again this time.
I think Bethesda... Bethesda got their... Minecraft. Which is Skyrim. But... <laughs> they don't do anything with it. Um, Fallout 76, which is a disaster. I did a, uh, Washite 6 be a DLC, it's not. <laughs> it's never gonna be that, no. Cause one, it, it doesn't make sense why they would make GTA 6 DLC for GTA 5, no. They're just gonna sell GTA 6, uh, at the same price that they were selling GTA 5 for. And then what's going to actually happen is they're going to release the GTA 6 online mode. And it's going to have all of the BS that uh, was built up over the years. Because by the way, GTA 5 online didn't start out the way that it is now. It was actually completely normal. It was a slow build up to the point where we are. And they're not going to do that with GTA 6. Because the bar is already so high for GTA 5's online with how everything is. GTA 6 is going to be... In just as bad as it is now if you were to start playing GTA 5 before you it, because they they I think they do give you an option when you start the game now to be either businessman gunrunner or something and the all the options are just really necessarily not really good at all they're a pain in the ass it's a good start to help out new players but it's still really bad uh because what they did is that GTA 5 just added on top of itself more and more stuff over the years, over and over. Added more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. And all of them are designed around being grindy and having to spend a lot of time doing it over and over. Repetitiveness over and over and over and over and over. So it's only necessarily for people who are willing to have a podcast on or a YouTube video in the background as they're doing this mundane task, which, in my opinion, don't do in, on, in an actual proper online uh, server, like a public one, because uh, they're awful. And also, don't even play GTA 5 on PC, uh, unless you're willing to spend money for VPN uh, that is willing to actually encrypt your... IP address so then you can actually play GTA 5 on PC because if you don't they don't it's like yeah just there's videos on it so yeah if you play it on console that's probably the safest way to do it is just play it on console that's where I played it on and it's also made for console anyways but uh yeah. I need to get a water. I just realized I don't have a drink. But uh I've 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 put enough time into GTA 5 for me to say I've done everything in the game. Uh I didn't get around to the Mark II versions of guns where you have to buy like two different types of things on top of it. Uh on top of uh on top of it just for you to even have access to it which is really dumb you have to buy the bunker and then you also have to buy the the like loader van from cars uh you know the one and uh then you can make your guns and customize your guns more to make them better but if you don't have the bunker and the other thing, can't do that. No, no, no. And that that was around the time where, like, I hopped on for, like, a little bit to try to get caught up with whatever's going on. And then I was just like, fuck this. And then I stopped playing. And I sold my PS4. I played through Red Dead Redemption 2 on PlayStation 4. And then a little bit after that, I sold my PlayStation 4. And then got a PC... And I haven't gone back since. I, I've done my, my due diligence for GTA 5. The only reason I'd get GTA 6 is so I could transfer my account over from GTA 5 for PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. 
because you can't transfer it over to PC. So, there's that. You can't, they just make it a pain in the ass to transfer your characters over. And honestly, I don't even want to transfer my character over if you were given the option on GTA 6, because that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm done talking about that trash. Dumpster trash is what the, the Zoomers say of a franchise where GTA, GTA, uh, like if, if GTA 5 it now isn't a warning for what GTA 6 online is going to be like, then look at Red Dead Redemption 2's online at launch and even to, to now. It is awful. They're going to do the same thing to GTA 6. It's going to have all the wacky like futuristic bullshit thrown in at the start and it's just gonna be really bad and uh, and broken and unbalanced and there's gonna it's gonna be uh on youtube videos everywhere every every youtube channel is just gonna be uh i i don't know what that emoji means every youtube video is just gonna be sitting there talking about how much they they're angry about it and then they they go at the very end being like i still love the game the game's great I really don't like how they, they do the online mode, and I think it's awful. Anyways. <laughs> There's my one-off comment on it. And I'm gonna make that a 30-minute video of saying the same thing over and over again. Okay. Let me go grab the water real quick. I need to go grab water. I'll be right back. Basically, if you don't know about Neo Scavenger, it's a turn-based game thing uh, where you die. <laughs> it's a hard game where you die. Let's see. There we go. I could try making it let me see here. Can I make it bigger? Small UI. 4x3. Big UI. Auto. Filter. Oh my god. Stretch. There we go. Okay. Let me turn the music down. Music is fine, but it's not really necessary. There we go. Okay. Main menu. Okay, so, yes, this is a video game. You hit new, and you have these stats here. Satiated, it's a survival game. You survive. And you have some things you can do. So you can have 15 points or whatever. And we're just gonna do... Skill with ranged weaponry. Trapping. That's going to be important. Tracking. Alter tracks and hide tracks more effectively. Metabolism. That's going to be helpful. Botany. And... Electrician Medic. Improvised healing rate. Hiding. So what is this? Can see one hex, uh, one hex less than normal, and detecting hidden creatures is harder. 
We don't know if we want that. We could also do electronics because that's one point. So this is this is the best we can do before we'd have to take any uh, any bad traits that are given to us here. So we have trapping, metabolism, botany, medic, improved healing rate via procedure training and sterilization techniques, more detailed stat bars on condition screen, and electrician, knowledge of electronic systems and components. If we really wanted to, we could have done tough and strong, but we're going to see how this works. I doubt we're going to be able to do much. <clears throat> you wake up disorientated, slumped over the base of an empty cryosleep pod. Still damp from cryofluid, the thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room, there is an open door to a hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall, beyond the doorway. Something is coming fast. Use knowledge. Uh, rig the door to stay shut. Emergency dump another stasis. Emergency dump another stasis tank. We're gonna emergency dunk. From the control panel, you could uh, you could call up the emergency stasis evacuation code. Doing this will override the normal thawing procedure and dump an entire tanks of content onto the floor instantly. The rush of sub-freezing uh, fluid might scare off the monster and might um, and maybe the monster will go for the sleeper instead of you. Dump the reality show star or dump the CEO. I'm gonna do dump the CEO. Punching in the code for the CEO, you rush back to your own tube and reseal it. Tank number six starts to hum, and the seal breaks with a roaring rush of fluid. The room squeals and flexes <clears throat> with the chilling cold of the liquid nitrogen covering the floor. Within moments, the nitrogen has boiled off at room temperature, leaving a frozen mansicle on the floor. Initially, the dogman backs off, unsure of the commotion that just occurred. However, hunger quickly replaces the concern as the smell of thawing flesh catches its attention. He starts dragging the body off, probably to his lair. Here's one meltdown Lloyd won't escape. You're standing in the cryostasis room, though it looks like you might have uh, been the only survivor. Search the console for records. You check the console for any patient information and come across three records. Anton Blubber. Philip Kindred. This is us. And Lloyd uh, Blink Check. Can I do anything in here? I guess that's uh, all I can do for now. Unless I can... Is there anything else I can do? No. Toggle message font. That doesn't do anything either. Whoa. So outdoor temperature, you're getting colder. Uh, I don't necessarily know our... So two is destroy, and three is split. Okay. Well, I guess we will climb out the window then. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto uh, the sill and outside rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp. Probably morning. The sti yeah. 
the distant report of a gun catches uh, your attention. You cock your head, listening, but it's over quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, though it doesn't uh, necessarily comfort you. You're in the parking lot of the the Gygus cryo facility, but everything looks uh, disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. Ah, so this is some information here. Uh, hex uh, can be scavenged while uh, standing in, such as a hex click scavenge start scavenging hex uh, has items in it while standing in such a hex click to see the items in it and when traveling in the world of neo scavenger you will notice some hexes with boxes or magnifying glasses on them boxes mean uh that the hex has items to pick up a gold outline means there are new items since uh since you've last been there ah uh, Magnifying glass means uh, that the hex can be scavenged for items mostly, or most of the really useful stuff must be found by scavenging. However, scavenging takes time and energy, and you risk danger every time you do. Alright. So this is our character. We're wearing a hospital strap that just says our name, and a hospital gown. We can take it off, but there's no point. Uh, we're going to take a shard for a weapon, because <laughs> we don't have much to work with. We have a bronze talisman. Don't take it off. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, I think we can look at our, at our character's health as well, and we can open up the shelter. Currently using a campsite or currently used campsite any old spot on the ground contents empty and then we also have a carrying container we're gonna go ahead and there's a little icon here i think uh that means that we can search here right scavenge uh, yes. What is this? So, to scavenge a hex, uh, you must first choose the location to search. Some hexes have only one, but others may have more. Then you will be shown the relative success chance and safety, uh, safety levels of the scavenging process. You are also shown tools and skills you can use to adjust the results. Green. Full bars are good, red empty bars are bad, loot chance of finding loot or a campsite, safety chance of avoiding, yada yada yada, choose your options carefully. So we're going to go ahead and do this, scavenge this, and despite your high tech appearance, uh, it's high tech appearance, this facility seems to be tucked away in the wilderness out of sight. Um, this bodes well for the chances of finding something of value, or even shelter, provided, uh, Nothing else has set up shop here with those ideas. Scavenge with medical knowledge. That doesn't do anything, but we'll go ahead and do it. Found something. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm. Click this. We found a first aid kit. This will have uh, some extra stuff here. Like plastic bottles that have a couple drugs in there. So if we take out, if we empty out... The stuff, we have eight pills of uh, painkillers, which is going to be very good. We can use that. And then we also have a plastic pill bottle with nothing in it. You can rotate items like this. Uh, so there's a, there's a huge amount of uh, management you have to do. There's some pills in here. And it's uh, antibiotics, so if we ever get any kind of injury or something like that we should probably take some antibiotics and there you go we have a shard i don't think i need that many shards but i 
I guess I'll, I'll take two. This is good for a weapon. And that's pretty much it for now. That's all we're gonna find there. If we do want to camp here... And we can also re-enter the facility too, by the way. By, uh, clicking this. And then doing this. Or, wait. How do we use? There we go. Back in the cryo... Uh, cryo chamber, you feel echoes of panic that grip you. Uh, when you awoke here, it leaves your feeling unsettled. However, that time has passed. Maybe it's time to look around again. Leave the crowd facility. You can explore down the hall. As you can see here, outside the cryo chamber, there's a debris-filled corridor that looks uh, disused. You climb over piles of refuse and rubble and come across a blocked doorway. A plaque on the uh, wall reads, Exam Room 17. Forcing the barracks uh, barricade aside, you peer into the wall. It looks like a clinic exam room. Uh, while there appears to be little worth looting, uh, this room looks like uh, it'd make a great holdup site. Exam room has been added to Hex uh, campsite. So this is a campsite now, meaning that we can we can drop stuff off here that we don't need right now, uh, and we can come back for it another time. So if we want to, we can use this as a campsite. Unheated, though. Uh, healing, not really good. Alertness, not that fine. But it's it's great for pretty much everything else. So I think if we were to drop this off here, we'd be fine. Uh, considering we don't have any other place to put this stuff for now. We'll go ahead and leave that here. Although, should we take it? It's like, a, it's a tough choice. I'll just leave it here for now. Let's see. Examine the- so there's a lot of things you can do here. <clears throat> the exam room uh, doesn't look much, but it's secure and sheltered from the elements. It looks like the lights might work if you could uh, figure out the short uh, in the wiring. Also, the HVAC seems to be pumping air. Probably still powered by whatever runs the tubes in the other room. Uh, someone handy with machinery might be able to rig the heat uh, incoming air a bit. Uh, with a little work, this room would make a decent place uh, to hold up and examine the vents. Sure, it'd be nice if those mechanics or maintenance guys were around. Examine this. Looks like the lighting is still in good shape, but the wiring's blown. If you could tap uh, the adjoining conduits. Okay. Scrap of paper. Okay. I'll just leave that here. Confirm. So, I guess we can do stuff with this. We can leave. And then I think we can just uh, leave the crowd facility and confirm. And I think if we check the ground, it's still here. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I don't know how else this, uh, to leave it alone. We're gonna approach the town. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add some music while I'm here. Let me add some music real quick. We're gonna add Fallout, uh, Fallout 1 Ambience. I think this is it. Which one do I do? I'll do th this one? This is an ad. <laughs> no, Disney Plus. Dude, imagine using Disney Plus. Eel. <laughs> what is this ad? Okay. There we go. That should do. I'll set that off to the side.
Cool. As you approach the town, there's no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to its dark ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers, you decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the ruins. Let's do some scavenging. We'll start with this locked storage. Locked storage sheds are a good sign of somebody thinks that there's something valuable and nobody has. Question is, can you get past the lock? Uh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I can't. But this one I can. Uh, no, no. Oh, I, I did. You found something. Wow. Um. Wow, okay. That's good. That's very good. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Um. We'll go ahead and put this container here, which can hold less than how much it's worth. It's a can. A shiv. Wait, we could use that. So a shiv is basically just a better weapon. I'm wearing multiple layers of t-shirts right now, in case you're wondering. Uh, let's just put these in here. And I guess we'll put this in here as well. For now course all right well we now have a bag pack <laughs> we don't have any shoes right now but it'll do and you know what we're gonna head back here we're gonna grab this we're also gonna grab this uh, little note that we're gonna put in here We'll come back for that stuff another time. Uh, hide. No, wait, unhide. In turn. Oh, shit. Uh, hide. Uh, take cover. What is it doing? Uh, what is it? Uh, blind retreat! It's a dog. Get out of here, you little shit! Oh god! Kick it! Duh. Feral dog's upper stomach was pelted. Dog needs a moment to recover before acting again. Feral dog fell to the ground and must regain recovery. Okay. Melee surge! Uh, am I fine? I think I'm fine. It's in severe pain, it's having trouble concentrating. Fucking kill it. Needs a moment. Tries to punch in a flurry, but it misses. Okay. Lure it. Okay, it's running away. Retreat. Fuck you. Oh, okay. What's in here? Blind retreat? Okay. Eye tracks. I, I don't... Oops. I don't I don't know what to do about that. Also, I, I forgot how to mess with the uh I forgot how to mess with the, the the icon there. I don't remember. 
Um, do I need to rest and heal? I guess not. We need to keep focusing on getting stuff. And I guess we'll end our turn. What the fuck is that thing? Sneaky retreat. I'm gonna hide. Blind retreat. I'm gonna hide. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. And then I'm gonna... Hide tracks. Okay. That thing's scary. Look at it. Look at that thing. That's a- that's a melon head. You don't want you don't want to be near melon heads. They're dangerous. Unhide. There's water. I could use this. There's stones and water. Put the water in there. No. Okay. No water. Wait. Better idea. I have a better idea. All right. Put that there. Put that there. Ignore the music, or the ad. Put the water. I, I need, like, some kind of, like, container to put it in, but I clearly don't have any, so. I guess never mind. Sorry, water. Water is helpful, though. I don't know what that is. But I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna scavenge. An abandoned office tower. Go. I found stuff. With oil! I could use that. Empty out. That's cornicola. Actually, put it back in. We're gonna drink it. Caffeine high. And I'm sweating. Oh god. <laughs> uh oh. We can actually use assorted small parts for stuff, if you don't know. I don't know exactly what we can craft right now, but we can, in fact, craft stuff. Uh, known recipes. Let's see here. Clean, clean rags, clean rags. So in order to make a clean rag, you need liquid disinfectant. Uh, what else can we make? A rough splint. Broken bottle. Let's see. Binoculars with a strap. We need thread in order for us to even do something like that. A crude torch. Maybe. Cryo lighting. Which is that one piece of paper, I think, that we have. I don't know if we need the piece of paper anymore once we have it. Making a fire would be easy to do once we get into, like, a woods or something. A squirrel snare. Tarp shelter. A shiv. Small, brittle, rigid, sharp. A sharpened sphere. Sharp edge, large, ridded. How do we... So we need, we need something like that. A sharp edge... And then large, rigid, flexible shaft. So we need to get like a stick. So if we can get like a stick. I guess we should do that after we scavenge some more. Sword shed. Likely alerted any nearby creatures. We're fine. Nobody's around us. Nope. How's our character doing? We're sweating. Our character is starting to sweat. Oh, probably because we're wearing all this clothes. That's fine. He'll be fine. Sweating is part of the healing. Oh my god. Retreat. <laughs> Retreat. Oh my god. Lure. Bad mother is bleeding. 
Fucking tackle him. Get up. Fucking. Tackle. Roll dodge. Get up. A flurry of attacks. Wait. Back up. Lure. Tackle them! Get up. I think I'm fine. Gets up. Fall back. Where the fuck are you going? Threaten him. Okay. Retreat. <laughs> Hide. More and more creatures approach you. Gauge from afar. Sneak towards. Sneak towards. He's trying to see who it is. Sneak towards. Sneak towards. Kill! Harry. Fucking tackle them. Player fell to the ground. Needs a moment to recover. Roll dodge. Get up. A flurry of attacks. I think I killed him. I did. He has a boot. He had a boot! Okay, this is good. This is very good. Plastic bottle. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's actually make room for these, because these are more important. Oh my god. That's a big, big bag. With berries in them. Edible berries. I think we can use dirty rags to make, um, to make clothes, I think. Hold on, empty out. We definitely want these pills. This little pill bottle here. Pill bottle? We already know how to do that, I think. Clean rags are very good. Uh, we don't want to lose those. And this container we don't necessarily need. We could cut up his this humanoid corpse uh, if we wanted to. Just a little bit of a psycho move, but it's fine. Tactical boot, by the way. That's left foot. I think it's on the right foot. There we go. So I think we can craft... We can craft shoes. DoorDash? Shut up. Let me see here. How do I make a shoe? <laughs> How does one make a shoe? Unless you just wrap it yourself. 
Let me see, can I just wrap a, like, clean rag on my foot or whatever? Let me see. Dirty rags. Wait, hold on. Let me look it up just to be sure. Yeah, how do you make a makeshift rag shoe? How do I do it? How do I do it? Glass shiv. Okay. So wait. So how do I make it? Tell me. their own in 72 hours jesus okay wait every turn or two since improper footwears is a constant build-up of infliction proper energy uh, injury that doesn't help me so they're just called makeshift rag shoes let me see here. That's medic, that's medic. I don't think my character knows how to properly make anything. How do you make, okay. What's here? Water, pebbles. Water could be good. Put it in there. We'll make sure to build up some water. Our character is weary. Let's go back to the cryopod by going this way. Oh yeah, scavenge. Scavenge for some sticks, botany. Oh yeah, we got some berries, baby. Handful of edible berries. That's good. Still not exactly what I need, but we can eat those. We also have, uh, random stuff in our pockets that we don't need, so we can do this. Put that in here. We could probably put pebbles in there or something. Honestly, we could probably just shove empty out and take these and put it in here. Yeah, we don't necessarily need this. Other than for very specific inventory, which we'll, we'll keep it for now, but... Yeah. I think that'll be fine. We have some dirty rags. Okay. Still not necessarily helpful. Uh, try to... It's a feral dog. Let me fall back. Fall back. Ah, okay. Into turn. It's gonna go away. Cool. Yeah, player is tired. Hold on, hold on. Let's do one more thing for me. Not botany. Ah. Okay. Let me try here then. There. No useful items, okay. End turn. I think space also ends the turn as well. So I can't really check these places. But... Okay. Let's go here. Scavenge. 
abandoned. We found some stuff. Like a piece of paper with information, a cigarette lighter, which I th don't know if we can even use. I'll put it in the pill bottle. Can I not put it in the pill bottle? I guess I can't. Okay. That's fine. I'll just put it right there. I guess. I don't. Two stones. Disposable shopping bag, another one. Cool. Just put the shiv in here. <laughs> Let's put the fucking shiv in there. Craft more wood. Oh, yeah, that's how you do that. Okay. Confirm. There we go. Alright. Now, I want to craft a makeshift spear. Yes. Wait. Sharpened spear. Confirmed. I got a sharpened spear. We can use this as a weapon. Okay. This is good. How do I... So now we can equip this as a weapon. We still wanted to. But... I, I can't really... I have to unselect, like, one of these items before we can do that. So, I'm gonna put this in here for now. Uh... And I want the stick. No. Give me the sharpened spear. There we go. We'll put this in here. This empty, this sad, pathetic, empty bottle will have to go away. Stupid, pathetic, empty bottle. Still not what I wanted, though. Hello, dog. It's bleeding. Advance. Attack it. Fucking attack it. Stop from unbearable pain. Kick it. Attack it. I killed. I just murdered. I just murdered this dog. This thing will make a fine meal. Oh, that's my shoe. You'll make a fine meal, boy. Small chunk of meat, raw. It's on a day's work. Alright. High tracks. And we're gonna go ahead and... We're gonna sleep here. In the cryo facility. I think that's right. But yeah, I actually need to like... Hold on. I guess I need to... Use. And then enter the room. Confirm. How do I... I guess we just leave. Yep. Okay, so we basically sleep here. And I think that's it. As night falls, you notice there's a bright glowing... A glow coming from the east, easily visible through the treetops. Uh, it is no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization. Maybe even a lead on where you are or who. And if nothing else, it's a good landmark to strike towards as any. Press the minimap M to see the location on your map. I have awoken. Yeah. 
these conditions making it actively difficult. So there's the glow. So we're gonna go ahead and I guess we'll just end our turn. End our turn. I guess rest and heal. There we go. Alright. There's something on the ground here, apparently. Nothing. Uh, end our turn. I'm here. Scavenge the destroyed office building. We'll use this wacky lighter to help us see. We got stuff. Uh, oh, shit. Binoculars and a handful of string. This is perfect. I think. I'm not sure. Binocular with strap. We need to make a strap, first of all. Which, I don't even know if we know how. Let me see here. Medium thread. Perfect. We do that. And then we make binoculars with a strap. That might not work. Okay. Let's try this. And this. No. There we go. Binoculars with a strap. And now, we will put this on our person. Like so. Right around our neck. And now, what we can do with this is oh yeah some some twigs and bark this is good for kindling but we don't need to worry about that for now now we can see another hex further we can see one one hex further than before if we get full binoculars which i think you can combine the two if you have the same thing then you'll be able to see two hexes, I think, but, um, further. So we're going to go ahead and scavenge again. We're going to check out this large thing. But it's uh, locked right now. We have no way for us to... Um, no way for us to access that until we get a crowbar. Let me end our turn. Yeah, we got, a. Uh, we got some stuff here. High tracks. End turn. Let's scavenge. And we'll just keep scavenging for anything good. Use our wacky lighter. We didn't find anything. Try it again. Wacky lighter. Didn't find anything. Destroyed building. Wacky lighter. Nothing. Scavenge. This. Wacky lighter. And we found stuff. Let's see, we found another disposable bag, which we can... Can we shove inside the, uh... No, we can't. You know what? Get that thing out of there. Get out of here. Shoo. Go away. You know what? We'll even put this lighter in our pocket here. Outdoor temperature is cold, but luckily for us, we're heavily... We're pretty warm other than one foot. It has nothing on it. And I still don't know how to make like makeshift shoes I don't know how to do it ah uh, shoot wait there's a mod extended neoscav mod I didn't know there was mods for this game. But I guess there is. Okay. That's the image of it, but that doesn't help me. How do I make it? Recipes. Uses. Properties and recipe uses. Rough splint.
So wait, small absorbent, non-rigid sheet. So small animal hide. Do we have that? I don't think we do. Sucks. If only I knew how to make makeshift shoes, but I guess we'll be fine without it. I was hoping we'd be able to get something. I guess we'll go this way. Oh shit. High tracks. He's running away. Good. High tracks. Check the house. Grab her lighter. And we got ourselves some blue jeans. We're currently wearing blue jeans and blue shorts, which is not as good. Uh, t-shirt. Another disposable bag. We'll go ahead and... Whatever happened to our other bag? Wait. What happened to our other bag? Oh, no. You mean when we were fighting that dog, we dropped it? Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Whatever. It only had some good stuff, like, who cares, you know? <laughs> like, imagine, bro, like, <laughs> it's just, it's like, whatever. We need to make a mask, don't we? Yeah, it's right, we do. I completely forgot about that. We do need to make a rag for a face mask so we can cover our face and we don't get uh yeah an air filter and we're shivering apparently okay that will get dirty over time though so i think that's everything we can do there Ah, that guy has something. We want to chase after him. He has a crowbar. Come here. Advanced. Advance. Charge. 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 He's retreating. He's making a desperate retreat. Charge after him. I'm chasing after this guy. Tackle him. Pull down. Oh, motherfucker. He, he fucking hit me. God damn it. I need his crowbar. Whatever. Retreat. Fuck it. He hurt me. Ow. <laughs> Ow. That's where the cut is. Okay. I need to make some clean rags. Which I think you have to use water or something to do it. Okay, hide tracks. There's another one. Great. I need to make I need to make clean rags. 
I have to make boiling water. Okay. So I have to boil water. So we need to get out of here first of all. We need to search for stuff. Uh, botany. That's just going to give us sticks, so. Ah, uh, shoot. Player is tired. Let me go here. I think there's there's a lighter here. Okay. That's not really helpful. Sneaky retreat. Why am I surrounded? <laughs> what is this? Oh my fucking god. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's a feral dog. I'm gonna threaten it. Hey, come here, you little shit. Dodge. But it misses. Parry. Parry. Tackle it. Tackle the dog. Get up. Fucking beat the shit out of it. I'm losing. I'm losing to the dog. I'm losing. <laughs> Pull the dog down. Dodge roll. Get up. Die. I'm dead. <laughs> well... Maybe if I if I wasn't just screwed over the entire time, maybe it, that wouldn't have happened. Game. All right, let's show let's show how you play this game like a man. Strong. Melee. Tough. Electrician. Strong melee tough. We're gonna fucking beat the shit out of that monster. Strong melee. I'm gonna kick its ass. You drop a defensive stance as it bursts into the room. The beast stands on its hind legs like a man. It has the appearance of a ragged predatory dog. The combination of your stance and build must really look imposing because the dog man actually looks a bit confused when it sees you and hesitates. You both lunge at each other, colliding with great force. The dogman realizes its error too late as you slam it against the door. Jam, uh, jam, uh, door jam repeatedly. Its corpse crumble at your feet. You let loose with an unbridled roar that echoes down the facility halls. You decide it was so awesome that you fish, uh, fish through the console for the security footage of it and take it. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna hang on to that. <laughs> All right, and uh, we're also gonna take this as well, and we're gonna go ahead and hit continue, and we're gonna search through the thing that tells us some information. We're gonna leave, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna craft. 
using this. And where's the shiv? Oh, I need to make the shiv. That's right. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to do this unless it's a shiv, but I can see here. Wait, dogman coat. Oh yeah, we need the trapping skill, that's right. Okay, so we need the trapping skill. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We're gonna redo this. Save and quit. We're gonna get the trapping skill. So it's strong melee and then trapping. Check this shit out. Also electrician. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Strong melee, kick its ass, kill it, confirm, take this cool disc here, uh, and then confirm. I'll just do this just for that. And then we're gonna go to crafting. I'm gonna take trapping. There it is. Confirm. Fur coat. And then we put that puppy on, like a like a trophy. We'll also take the shiv. That's how you do it. All right. We'll also um we're also gonna head back into here, if possible. Scavenge. Gonna use this head in here deeper in here confirm there's some stuff you can do here we're not smart enough to be able to do anything with that but if you are then you can do stuff with that but this is a good that's a good little hangout place and there's some food here i guess okay and let's go ahead and scavenge the abandoned building using strong Nothing alerted, or whatever. Strong. Oh my god. It's a shopping cart basket. No, stop. Oh my god. We just got a fucking shopping cart. And a sleeping bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep that on me. You seen this shit? Seen this? It's called this is called luck or something. There we go. Not enough moves to craft. Okay, hold on. In my turn. And then we'll craft it. Shiv confirm. We'll go ahead and clear that. Take the shiv. I'm gonna put that in our hand. Uh, we'll hang on to those shards for now. And we have a vehicle with us. Let's go. Okay. And then scavenge. Strong. We found a left shoe. And we found another left shoe. Also, some t-shirts on top of that. Some rags. A handful of string. We'll keep the strings so we can make a uh, necklace thing. Players wearing legendary... Th the legendary three dog moon t-shirt. It's legendary, apparently. Hold on, wait, what? How is this legendary? This is a legendary... Dog... Sh dog shirt. <laughs> uh, 
high tracks. Although we're wearing improper footwear and we only get we'll get like I think one turn less than normal, I think it's still better regardless. What's on the floor here? Water and stuff, okay. No annual contracts, no price hikes. Just great internet for fifty bucks a month. It's that simple. And high tracks scavenge. Abandoned house, strong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? 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 Huh? Huh? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold 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 on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really game, huh? Really? You wanna you wanna explain why you're giving me all this stuff? Hmm? Want to explain to me, uh, what's the deal here? Game. Oh, I got the legendary banana t-shirt. That's good. I have some sticks, too. Wow. Scavenge. Storage shed. <laughs> the fucking cardboard box. <laughs> Shove that right in the corner there. What is this? Another sleeping bag? Put it with the other. If it was a collapsible sleeping bag, that would be better. What is this? Digital water tester. Yeah, just, just casually have a water tester. That's helpful. You know what's the worst part is that you can actually use this? How much condition does this have? 51%? That's still pretty good. Put the, the, the soup cans in there. Put the broken bottle in there as well. Strong. What's in here, baby? Oh my god. Oh. Bro. Shop Mart Trek polyester and flannel sleeping bag. Oh my god. We have two different sleeping bags. I don't know which one's better. Moderate load. Movement rate is slower. That's fine. Give me some loot. Nothing. Alright, high tracks. In turn. Luckily, no one's around us. This is such a good area. High tracks. In turn. Ooh. Scavenge this abandoned mobile home. With loot. Oh my god, it's a plastic bag with food in it. Empty it out. Mmm. Mmm, shovels. Mmm, shovels. Put it in here. With everything else. Also, uh, let's go ahead and... Let's use this. Can I use trapping? No. Strong. No. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a sharpened spear. Make a sharpened spear. 
How do we make a hardened spear? We need a large, uh, rigid, so, flame source, any combat skill, a sharp edge, and a large, rigid, so we should make a hardened one as well. So now we have a sharpened spear. I'll go ahead and equip that for now, just in case. Do that. I'll actually put the shiv in here. Let's go ahead and... We need to make a fire, so let's do that real quick. Known recipes, uh, we need to start small. So I think we have to go to a crude torch, crude torch lit. Small campfire lit, no. I'm trying to remember how to uh, do a campfire. Um, I think we need a crude torch, right? Yeah, we need to make a crude torch, I think. Or... Restart. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to make a fire. It's been it's been a while. Campfires. Okay, so I think we need rocks, right? We need a trapping. Oh yeah, that's right. Crude torch lit, that's right. We need to get kindling, which I think we need like small twigs from, which I think we got. I don't think we do, hold on. Eye tracks, uh, scavenge. Strong. Wait, I can't just like. There we go. This is what I needed. Go to my character or my person. Put these in my hand. Can I stack them? No. You don't get to. Okay. Actually, I could put them in here. As well as the pieces of sticks. There we go. <laughs> okay. Go over here. In turn. High tracks. Okay. So. Fire. Trapping. Yes. Tiny lit campfire. Perfect. So now we take this. And then we take this, and we take this, and this. No, wait. How do we make a bigger campfire? Medium campfire lit. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now we make a hardened spear. Yes. We needed a small campfire. Okay. So this bigger one had no purpose other than... Whatever. Okay. So now we have a hardened spear. Which means that we'll be able to do more damage. So easier to spot. So we're actually getting warmed by the fire, which is good. But... Not necessarily helpful. Uh, 
Uh, I need the Kindle. We're gonna be taking a lot of this back to the Cryo Chamber, because that's a safe area. Let me just put the fire in here, yeah. No. Okay. So we need to go back to the Cryo Facility, if we can. I don't know what time it is, though. What time is it? It's currently day. Oh, this song is... Here we go. Let's go... Over here. I'm gonna stop it. Oh my god, that's a lot of dogs. Okay. I was gonna go ahead and unhide. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Okay. Hide. Hide myself. I need to get around these people. So, I'm just gonna hide. And I'm gonna go ahead and hope that they go somewhere else. Okay, they go somewhere else. We're gonna go back here. Detached vehicle. And we're gonna try to search for them. Search. 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 Okay. We're gonna use our hardened spear. And we're gonna... We're gonna, uh... Fall back one. Okay. We're gonna take cover. Okay, I'm gonna fall back one. Wait, what? I'm gonna fucking create an obstacle for them. And now I'm gonna... Needs a moment before acting again. I'm gonna do a... a spurge. I missed, because of course I did. Falls back from player. I'm going to offer to talk? No. Offer to cease fire. They're surrendered to player. Okay. Cool. Uh, how's my character doing? I have a uh, moderate bruising on my head. I'll add one rag there just for my... I don't think it does anything, but there's nothing I can really do. Okay. Uh, I will put on the pants, that's good. With some mushrooms. I can't tell if those are edible. Uh, a crowbar. In okay quality, not as good as mine, though. And a wonderful hoodie. That has... I can't tell if it has stuff on it. Ah, okay. So if I put this over, I can't get a hold of my stuff. And the shoe... Hold on. Hold on just one second. What is going on here? Oh yeah, these are like the meat and stuff. That's right. That's right. This is all meat that I can eat. Yeah, okay. Medium amounts of food. A gray shirt. There is, however, a shoe I can wear on my right foot, which is the same one as this one. Not my left foot, but I will say it's probably better, honestly. There we go. Improper footwear. Well, what can you do? Alright. Alright, so, we have this meat, let's put it in the cardboard box, 
I guess meat doesn't spoil, huh? So we'll do that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we want to use this. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. We don't need to do this. Hold on. Enter back out. Camping. We have a lovely, lovely camping. Take out this lovely sleeping bag. Put that there. And now we can sleep and shelter easily without any problems. We could also, I don't know how to make a trap, but I think I can make like a trap or something. Noise trap, here we go. Not enough moves left to craft. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me hide my tracks first of all. And I'm gonna put the shoe back on, even though I think it gives me an extra turn. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. I think we're getting the most we're gonna get in terms of, like, sleep or whatever, but... So we have that. Let's make a noise trap. Noise trap. Go ahead and clear that. We will add the noise trap into here, like so. Alertness. Can we make another one? <laughs> I don't think we can. But we are in pain. We're well rested though. And we can sleep. Which I don't know if we want to do. I guess we'll go ahead and, and try to sleep. Let's sleep. It's night falls, yep. Speak with thirst. Okay, so we need to get water. Which I think we can get from this. So let's do that. One, two. End our turn. Hide tracks. And now we will. Ah. We will use. Gathered water. Good. We're gonna make a small fire. I think we, we have to... How do we make a... Oh, there it is. Okay. Kindling. Trapping. We're gonna make a small fire. We're gonna... Oh, it needs to be like, uh, it has to be in a container, doesn't it? No, I don't think it does. Does it? No. I think we can just, uh, make a big fire over this. And then we can... No, I think we actually have to have a container for it. Shoot. Well, I guess I'll make some... Spoiled meat. No. How do I... How do I, uh... How, do, how does one make boiled water without container? I don't have a pot or, like, any kind of way to put the water in, so I guess that's why. Okay. Oh, yeah, wait. Digital water tester? I didn't know. I forgot I could do that. Hold on. How do I use this? Empty out? Oh, there's batteries in there. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> how do I use it? I don't even know how to use it. Okay. I guess I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything right. 
Never mind. Okay, fuck me then. Uh. Ah, you fucker. Okay. Drop, ditch the cart. Take cover. Offer a ceasefire. Nope. They don't want a ceasefire. This is a bad mother. Take cover. Fall back under cover. Nope. They're sprinting towards me. They are sprinting towards me. Fall back. Back. Fall back again. Create an obstacle. Must get up from the ground. Attack. It's missed. Get ready to parry. Runs from player. Create an obstacle. Bad mother is bleeding. Looks like they have like a backpack. Charge after them. Tackle them. The crowbar. Leg trip. Miss. Um. Player gashes Bad Mother's lower left leg with the hardened spear stab. Is stunned and unable to move for a moment. Gashed uh, Bad Brother's upper arm with the hardened spear. Lure. Uh, let's see here. Player exposed for an easy attack for a moment. Fell to the ground and must regain. Is fallen, vulnerable, and is recovering. Okay. Stab them. Is in severe pain and is having trouble concentrating. Stab them. Bad mother stabbed them. Okay, I killed them. They had a fucking duffel bag. This is what I wanted. <laughs> this, is, this is why I wanted it. Uh, to do it. They have a bunch of spoiled meat in their inventory. And, uh, a small animal hide. So, cool. Also a rifle scope, which is helpful. Clean rags, which is good. I'll keep the small hide. The stones, I don't need those. I don't think these berries are good for you. Handful of twigs and bark, that's good. I'm gonna do this. Do better um, management, item management. We're gonna take this. We're gonna use our string and everything to do what we need to do. Their crowbar was in poor condition, by the way. And they have a right foot. Perfect. So now we can, we have two normal shoes. I will, however, keep the boot in case. This shoe's actually better than the other one I have on currently, so I'm going to switch it out. I'll save it, but I will switch it out. And this also has stuff in there. Empty it out. What do we have in here? We have a ice slab battery. Four items. Empty that out. With a bunch of electric charges in it. That noise is... Interesting. Okay. A handful of berries. Empty this out. Take the cans. 
shitty crowbar, dead corpse, gray shirt, spoiled meat, food. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make a... A broad spear. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's do it. Fucking broad spear. All right. Let's go. Okay. So our character is still parched, by the way. We don't have liquid. But I think we can put that liquid in the container. I think we can cook it from within inside of that container. I think. Unless I, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. I'm, I think I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Where's medium? Medium thread. Here it is. Make medium thread. And then we need to make a... Extinguished, where is it? Binoculars with strap. Hello? Oh, wait. No, wait, hold on. Where's the, uh, the strap at? There it is. Maybe I, it, because it was in my inventory, I couldn't do it. I should be able to now. There we go. Rifle scope with strap. There we go. Magnification device. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's head. Let's head back into here. Looks like there's a town over there that might be worth checking out. My tracks and the water, which is here, small fire. If we put the water into these containers, I don't think this will work, but we can check. And we take the crafting. make a sterilized water we can make <sighs> clean rags oh wait so we can make clean rags which is good but that's not what we need to do I don't think it's boiled uh, we wanted to make, there we go, so we do, we use a, a can, I don't know what the, that's for, so we can make sterilized water, okay, I think we're doing it right. I think we have sterilized water in here. Oh no, we need this. Take these back, take this back, take this back. I think we can just take the sterilized water and then put it in there. This is sterilized water. There we go. And now we can do it two times, I think. Two more times, right? Sterilized water boiled. Sterilized. Oh no. Shoot. I actually made a fire. Er. Damn. Uh. 
extinguished small fire? No? Okay. Small fire. With trapping, not enough moves. Okay. Hold on. End turn. I need to, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and use, use, and then I'm gonna take these. Use and now I'm I have slated slaked thirst instead, so that's good. Hunger is still kind of going down, but water. So we make a fire. So we make a friction-based fire. Very good. And now we clear. And now we go to this, and we make water. Done. Okay. So now we have sterilized water, which will go into this. No. We'll go into that. And I will use. All right. Perfect. Now we, we will also take this. Take that. Handful of ashes. I think you can use these. There we go. I don't need the khaki shorts. I don't know why I have those. I already have khaki shorts. As you can see here. Khaki cargo shorts. Which has access to mushrooms and stones. I don't need the stones. I don't know why I have those in there. Okay. I'm gonna put these uh, shards. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put this in here. I'll put these shiv in there as well. And these like glass shards can just hang out. I don't know. We could also make dirty rags, but that also means we'd have to get more water, as you can see. So we get water, and we go to this, and we make clean rags. Why is it this? Why is it the small animal hide? Okay, whatever. That's fine. We have a rag. We also can make some sterilized water. Clear. Sterilized water. Clear. Make some more water. That. Nope. Oh, hold on. Use that. Do that. We have another one in here. Use that. Make ourselves really, really good on water. <laughs> Make sure we're really, we're really stocked up on the water. That's, that's our goal here. Boiled water. Yep. 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 Now we have a bunch of sterilized water. We have one more thing of water. Actually, we don't even have... Just use that. There we go. Okay. We're good. This is a really good setup, though. Oh my god, a deer. There's a deer. We could kill that deer. If we so wanted to. That's where we need to go. Okay. I think we're ready... Maybe? 
I think we have more than enough stuff to be able to do what we need to do. Okay. A lot of clean rags, though. We could make a lot of clean rags out of those. Wait. Do we not have a fire anymore? Oh, the fire went out. Okay. Okay. Alright. Our character's still in pain. Still has a clean rag on it. I don't think we need the clean rag on there. It's only bruising. Blisters on foot? Really? Awkwardly pulling basket. Is there a way for us to make a... Make a sled out of it or something? Patchwork hide gloves. Oh, shit. Were we able to make gloves or something? I don't know which hand that's on. Oh, that's on my, uh, this hand. Okay. So apparently you can just straight up make patchwork hide gloves, which is cool. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's cool. Hide tunic, which we don't need to do. Rags from clothes. It's cool. Uh... I forgot what I wanted to do. Um, well, I guess I'll just suffer. I'm gonna eat these berries that are definitely safe to eat. Those berries are definitely safe to eat. Uh, so we got blisters from our feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember what we're doing. Uh, we're making a shed or something, right? Plastic shed. Scope with strap, which we already did. Uh, squirrel snare, which we don't need to do. Broad spear. Noise trap. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I do want to make more. It's reversed. That's all that would do. Paper scraps. Medium thread. Broken bottle. Food. Medic stuff. Okay. Nothing I can do now. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go this way. I tracks. Scavenge? Never mind. Don't scavenge. this way. Hide tracks. In turn. Feral dog. Trap cart. I think it wants to kill me. Feral dog dodging out of the way to make it hard for them to hit for a moment. Okay. And I will retreat. Falls back. Dodges. Players move back. Okay. Yeah. 
Make sure to grab your cart before you go. <laughs> your uh, unwield cart that has no thing. Whatever. You don't want to be followed, of course. You pick your way through the overgrown runes. Um, a peculiar sound becomes briefly audible. It disappears, but picks up again for a moment, as if it's carried by air currents. It's as distant humming, like a small gas engine's um, out of place in the stillness of empty forests and abandoned buildings. Huh. Uh, okay. You do that. Oh, fuck. Wow. Um, as the source uh, of the distant sounds finally comes into view, you stop in your tracks, unsure whether it's safe to continue ahead. You see a titanic warehouse, like one of those distribution centers from before the apocalypse. There is a dull roar of um, ethanol generators combined with the occasional rev of unsurpassed exhaust from off-road vehicles. Figures seem to be m milling around a low extension on the right, and the occasional ATV arrives on, uh, or departs uh, without fanfare. You don't think you've been spotted yet this far out, though with all the activity it's hard to tell. Peering into the distance, you see bright sign reading Zom Zom's A Place to Eat uh, hanging over a giant garage door fenced off behind tarp and barbed wire, bright lights wel welding arcs, and peculiar shadows can be seen um, in the fenced area, and more lights from within the warehouse. A semi-trailer attached to one of the loading bays acts as a makeshift gate and ped... Um, Pedway into the warehouse. Ragged looking figures line up alongside the trailer, watched over by armed mercenaries. It looks like uh, more than a club than anything else, uh, except for the tarp area. Then you see it a truck with uh, the other side offloading prisoners or slaves of some sort that doesn't bode well. But then again, people come, go, come and go fr freely wherever else, or everywhere else. And are entering voluntarily through the pedway. Um, approach the line. While in the line, you feel a flutter of anxiety each time the line advances with each step. You try uh, to catch a glance of what's uh, through the doorway in the trailer, but you still can't make, uh, can't tell. Ragtag looking mismatched clothes and stinking of sweat. Some confused, others bored. The guards are better groomed by comparison, though you suspect uh, they'd as much as as soon murder you for your clothes if they weren't being paid. Up a few wooden plank steps, uh, you step inside the semi-trailer, and hollow sounds of crowd echoed uh, down the narrow corridor from the warehouse. To your right is a chipboard. Uh, and mesh booth where an attendant is collecting fees and weapons and stamping people's uh, people before they walk down the trailer into the warehouse stock or spectator the attendant drones looking uh, disinterestingly past you huh never mind she uh, exhales stamping your hand with a symbol number uh, and nods uh, to another grizzly merc who checks you for weapons. You receive a chit uh, for your confiscated items and are ushered down the trailer. You hear a man behind you answer spectator to the attendant before passing into a wall into a wall of sound inside the warehouse proper. <clears throat> uh oh. Inside, it's one part super club and one part gladiator pit. A wall of sound assaults your ears as you cross the threshold, part human caco uh, cacophony, part generator exhaust, mostly fran uh, frenetic uh, 
industrial music and the smell of food and smoke. You can't hear it. <clears throat> Fuck. You can't hear it uh, over the noise, but you can feel your stomach rumble at the smell of sweet barbecue. The carnivorous warehouse is dominated by a dirt floored arena with high mesh walls. Spectators ring the pit on three sides and fourth reserved for a large garage door leading outside into the tarp fenced courtyard beyond the door. You catch the flash of welding arcs where it appears scrapyard robots are being prepped. And opposite the garage door, of course, uh, the thing you really care about right now, a wide booth with grills spewing sweet and spicy smoke into the rafters above. People clamor to get at it and walk away with their prized smeared over hands and lips alike barbecue. You wade through the dirty patrons intent on manhandling some ribs or beans or, and rice or whatever. It is, <laughs> or whatever it is they got cooked over there. Who knows how long they've been in cryo. Um, how long it's been uh, you had a hot meal. Pressing your way through this final wall of hungry patrons, you get an elbow on the counter and desperately try to make eye contact with one of the servers. A few eternal moments later, one of the apron-clad food slingers uh, glances at you. And you nod like an excited dog. He reaches into a smoker box, withdraws a loaded skewer, and places it in your hand. Sweet succulent barbecue. Savoring it at first, you start to grow paranoid that it'll be snatched from your hands. And you bear, uh, and you bear down on it with a renewed fiv uh, fervor, huddling with it against your lips as you uh, uh, absently walk away from the grill. This meat... It's like good, fully developed veal, not young, but not yet beef. Yes, very definitely like that. And not like any other meat you've tasted, in fact. So much so that you think no person with a, a palate of ordinary normal sensitiveness could distinguish it from veal. It is mild, good meat with no other sharply defined or highly characteristic taste such as, for instance, goat, high game, or <laughs> and pork have. How does this guy know specifically every kind of, like, meat? <laughs> Player ate Zom Zom's barbecue. The steak is slightly tougher than prime veal, a, s a little stringy, but not too tough or stringy to be agreeably edible. Uh, to be, uh, yeah. Uh, the roast is tender and in color. Texture smell as well as taste strengthens your, certainly, uh, your certainty uh, that all uh, of all the meats you inhabitably know, veal is the one meat to which the, this meat is accurately comparable. Just then, an announcer pipes with the same escalating voice every strip club DJ seems to have. He starts hyping the crowd. Can you count suckas? Uh, he shouts. Patrons start yelling back. I said, can you count suckas? On cue, a testosterone-fueled wave of shouts comes from the floor. Raise those numbers, he calls, with exception, and everybody raises their fists in unison. The music changes, lights switch to UV, uh, and numbers appear, all stamped on hands. Your heart starts to race as you realize what's happening. Looking around, everyone has a stamp, but most of them don't look like yours. Everyone has numbers, but it's clear now what the symbols are. Most patrons have silhouettes of vultures next to their numbers. Um, you look down at your hand. Uh, yours is a lamb. The announcer calls a number, a lower number. You feel a bit nauseous, but also relieved. You raise your hand nearby patrons, uh, look, looking suddenly, then quickly losing interest in it. A scream of protest uh, erupts from afar. The far side of the arena, everybody nearby looks across where a commotion is starting. A man is hoisted into the air like a crowd sulfur at a concert and propelled into the arena gate. Patrons claw the remainder of, um, of his barbecue. 
uh, from his flailing hands, fighting over it like dogs. Guards wrangle the struggling man and toss him onto the dirt floor in the arena as the gates seal behind him. The winner is a filthy, weak, and confused uh, looking human as he clamors to his feet a clocking wait a clacking no that's a clocking and squeaking sound uh crescendos sound crescendos from the opposite side of the arena cheers start erupting throughout the warehouse as the source of the noise rolls into the arena though the garage oh sorry through the garage door i'm so good at reading <laughs> so fucking bad this is probably unbearable to listen to <clears throat> the bot is a little more a heavy, uh, a little more than a heavy, treaded uh, ring of barbed spikes and haphazardly hung uh, LED ticker uh, sits atop its mast. Flickering the words, Morning Star, confirming your suspensions, uh, suspensions, suspicions, fuck me, suspicions as to its nature. Without pausing, the bot starts closing in on the human who, to its credit, has given up rattling the gate and is now facing the more immediate danger. He starts circling left, leading the bot to one side of the pit, then dashes right as fast as he can, bypassing the bot. The move buys him a few seconds as the bot spins in place on its threat, uh, treads. But he ends up in the same situation on the reverse side of the arena. This continues for a few laps, with the human visibly wearing down. Perhaps realizing his error, he switches tactics and leads the robot towards a support column and allows it to get close before ducking around behind it. The bot starts turning in place, but the tread gets hooked on a pillar. And for a moment, it appears to be stuck. You can sense a tingle of hope in the man as he watches the bot rock uh, to and fro for several seconds. <clears throat> However, the bot's rocking eventually frees it and it turns to face him again. Crestfallen, the man returns to his original strategy of dodging the robot like a bullfighter uh, even more slowly each pass. It doesn't take long for the robot to wear down its already weakened prey, and it scores its first hit, trampling his legs under treads. Uh, the man's cry of pain is lost in a wave of cheering from the crowd. As the robot backs up, the man hardly has time to limp before it rams him again, this time following through and impaling him against the wall. <laughs> Drunk with bloodlust, the crowd is now screaming as the robot backs away once more from the stumbling, bleeding man. The bot, the bot rams him into the wall and one more time and backs away, this time with a human sh stuck on its spikes. The crowd cries out in ecstasy, with eventually simmers uh, down to a rabble as the arena service personnel remove the entrails. Uh, to your a, a mouth agap, you suddenly feel a wave of nausea. You begin looking for and panicked. Rub the stamp off. <laughs> Rub it off. Get it off. You look down at your hands and glance at the crowd holding uh, your hands low. You start rubbing the stamp, trying to remove the identifier. Word is, you've got a good medical plan. The voice startles you. Even amidst the shouting crowd, and you turn to find a young man with an old face. He looks to be of Asian descent, uh, with a hair like a mop. Uh, begin to... I think that's aviator. Uh, oh, big aviator uh, glasses. Uh, and an improperly... Or, sorry, improbability... No, I'm... <sighs> And probably a white fur coat. Tisk tisk. You don't think uh, they've thought of that? Uh, he's visibly amused. Dude, 
lambs die in the pit. Vultures watch. What do you think happens uh, to guys with no number? Uh, his hand starts circling his stomach in mock hunger. Mmm, barbecue. He laughs giddily. This guy may be insane. Then it occurs to you, and that nausea comes back. Dude, let's get out of here, he says. I don't, uh, I don't want you puking on my coat. Uh, he turns away and starts wave, uh, weaving towards the garage door. Dizzy with sickness, you stumble after him, placing a hand on his shoulder for stability. No, 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 no. He quickly turns and removes your hand. Here, he has something uh, to a patron. He hands something to a patron, says something to him, then places your hand on the patron's shoulder instead. The three of you make your way towards the garage door. This exchange... Uh, just keeps getting more bizarre. Arriving at a massive doorway, the patron removes your hand and collects his fee and heads back into the crowd. You stare after him in confusion, a moment the nausea slowly uh, abating, and uh, you pivot back to uh, Fur Coat Guy Weekly. Give him the bracelet. Uh... Out in the robot prep yard, mechanics are tending to their creations. Your companion stops alongside a tall robot reminiscent of a farm combine. Uh, you shudder to think what it does to a human with those blades, but then something aside inside moves. Crawling out uh, the, f the feeder house behind the blades is a mechanic who looks uh, around and satisfied waves another out. Uh, the second looks more like the one of the patrons than the mechanic, starved and scared. Uh, the pair shulk, or sorry, skulk along the fence line and disappear out of sight. Fur coat guy turns back to you with a proud yet devious grin on his face. The stoat is pleased to make your acquaintance. Now about that medical plan, he suggests, uh, taps your wrist, uh, wrist. Give him the bracelet. You snap the uh, the printed bracelet from your wrist and hand it to him. He slides it through his fingers, reading the letterings on the strap. Nice, dude. Uh, he bobs his head. I may have um, uh, to do an expedition there, and uh, and and nice. No, 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 haha. Uh, he pulls box from an, under the uh, the flight case uh, near the uh, combine butt here and opens the uh, and uh, say. Okay. He looks over your shoulder. Oh, and you'll probably want these back. You turn and see a familiar face in the front gate. She drops the checkered lockbox. You, you, uh, you cast a glance. Shrugs. What? Can't do this alone. Your safest bet is to go along the fence uh, where they went. Okay. You around, dude. As he calls over, over his shoulder, walking back to to the warehouse. Gather your things in the lockbox. Make sure you empty that while you have the chance okay so where's my stuff a pot okay well I need the pot first of all um oh there it is Come on. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough room. Okay, hold on. Let's do some maintenance here. Okay. Okay. Empty out. I'm gonna eat these, actually. While I'm at it. It's a noise it makes. Uh, do we have... Oh, we don't. Okay, hold on. We'll actually take this, too. We'll put this in here. I don't think we need glass shards anymore. 
Uh, we'll, we'll keep it. Why not? Oh yeah, we have tons of bottles now. Awesome. Some string. Makeshift uh, shoe. That's better, I think, than what we have on currently. Hold on. I think. Let me see. No, it's not. These are better. I I could probably just get rid of these shoes, honestly. That's a right foot, that's a right foot. I love blisters. Scrap of foil, pants. Cool. Alright. Um, camp benefits. What's that all about? Okay. I think we're good. Let's, uh, you know what I need to do? I need to head back to base. All right. Shelter. Let's sleep here. Sleep. Hey, we're back. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some extra things here because we want that sleeping bag that's in here. We want this and we want these. We want these items, because we're not coming back. We're leaving. We're getting the heck out of here. We're going straight towards the glow. That is our goal. So we need to make room. I think this sleeping bag is pretty good. Let me just check just to make sure. Because I might just only need to bring this. I think these sleeping bags are better than this. I think. From the looks of things. I'm going to bring both of them because I have two here. So this one's in. This one's good. We'll go ahead and do this. We only need one, by the way. So we'll just do that. Uh, sticks. You could probably get more sticks somewhere else, but empty out. Put those in there. Um. Definitely don't need the shoes. Oh. Uh, okay. First aid kit that we don't necessarily need. Uh, we don't need that. It's just taking up space. Put that there. Yeah! Alright. That's not bad. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Potato bag. I need to get like a actual proper backpack of some kind. I think the duffel bag's fine, but Oh wait. Oh. Could have just done this. Oh my god. <laughs> well. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Completely forgot. Okay. Uh <laughs> Making this a lot easier to deal with, I guess. Uh, do we have... I mean... Uh, I mean, I guess I could bring this as the second container. Like that. But we, we all know that. I say dirty rag. Let me take that off. Bring a crude air filter. It'll do. How's our character doing? Fine. Minor pain. Minor pain. It's going away. Okay. We have a journey to go. Onward. Don't bother me. Good thing I'm hiding my fucking tracks. My character is thirsty though. Let me hide my tracks there. Scavenge? No. We want to keep going. Holy fuck. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Let me hide and end my turn. Okay. It's in minor pain. Oh, I'm sick now. What the fuck happened to me? Oh my god, I'm poisoned. Times two, it's because of the fucking... <laughs> this is because of the, the, the berries that I ate or something. Or it's the... The shitty meat that I ate from that one place. <laughs> it's probably the meat. That I shouldn't have eaten. And now my character is dying. Uh, I have blisters on my foot and have normal pains. I wonder why, buddy. Shack and forest. <laughs> Fucking meat cleaver? Really? Some clean stuff crowbar that is at 72 percent well i'll take the meat cleaver i'll put that in here that's better okay and i definitely can't take the crowbar unless i Compromise, which I don't necessarily need to. But I have a fucking cleaver now, which is awesome. Based. I'll actually take this crowbar as a second weapon. I use the shitty spear. Although I could probably just use the crowbar, which is probably just a better weapon in general, but... Whatever. We now have two weapons to use. I don't know if there's a way for me to heal. Because I don't really have, like... Ah, oh, jeez. I guess I need to take care of myself somehow. This is the hard part, I guess. Um, shit. Uh, I guess we'll make a tarp if we can. Do 
can we make a tarp? Tarp shelter. I need two large shafts. Large waterproof sheet and then thread. Which we have... Th we need medium thread? Did that say medium thread? Yeah, we need two medium thread. Okay, so let's make two medium thread. So one... Two. Okay, so we have two medium thread. We need... We need, uh... Ah, shoot. Right when we were, like, getting stuff, you know? We, we were having something set up here. Poison stage two. Worse every minute. So weak with thirst. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. So the tarp again. The tarp. Tarp, tarp, tarp. So you have two of those. We have the, the waterproof sheet. We can do it now. Okay. Let's make that. We have a tarp. We can now sleep in the tarp. Like so. Let's grab our can. There's really nothing I can do. I guess. I, there's, there's not really much I can do. I guess I'll try to heal. I'll grab my sleeping bag. And lovely sleeping bag. And I guess we'll drink some water. If we can. Drink again. Save the thirst. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we have mushrooms that we don't know their origin of. I'll go ahead and eat those. <laughs> and we're just gonna hide tracks. And we're just gonna rest. And try to heal. We're still sick. Unbearable pain. And I'm dead. That's it. From severe traumatic brain injury. Oh, shit. So what happened was... In my final moments, I got completely brutally murdered. By a random guy who just ran straight towards me. And killed me. Uh. <laughs> By the way, um, player is ready to advance to Windigo 2. Uh, they, they fed you at Zomzom's barbecue. That was human meat <laughs> that the character ate. Fuck, man. We we got some stuff, and it was just ripped away just like that. <laughs> and I, I don't mm, even know what caused it, other than maybe either the berries, the head injury from, like, the minor pain, the Zomzom's barbecue, or just the laws of nature. It could have been those, like, th three things. Sorry four things. It could have been those four things. Wow. Um. I guess we'll do one more game and we'll just see what happens. Mm. 
So let's do mechanic. Mechanic electrician or a hacker. We also have medic. Botany. Trapping. Or feeble. Melee attack effectiveness is loosened, is lessened. And can carry less. That's not as good. It's not good. Fragile. We're fragile. Physical wounds, pain, and infections are more severe to you. Healing is slower. You gotta do what you gotta do. So an electrician, a mechanic, a hacker, a medic, a botanist, and it's trapping. We'll go ahead and grab metabolism. We'll do that. My phobia can see one hex less than normal. Detecting hidden creatures is harder. Okay. See what happens. Hack the door to stay shut. Rig the door to stay shut. Knowledge of plants. Rig the door to stay shut. I'm gonna do medic. <laughs> Go ahead and dump uh, the CEO of the company away. And then I'm gonna search the records. Cool. I'm gonna climb out. Information. Scavenge this. Yep. Medic. Cool. We can take this, put that there. And, uh, I'm gonna use this. We're gonna search the console for records again, even though that doesn't matter. Explore down the hall. Got an exam room. Examine that. Hmm, this thing is still operational. The air's, uh, the air's cool now. But it looks like you could reroute some of the airflow across some power conduits, uh, to, uh, to warm it up a bit. You need something to divert the air like a tarp. Uh, plus small parts to, uh, fasten it. Yep, this looks doable. Okay. And then we can examine the electrical power. Looks like the lighting is still in good shape, but the wiring is blown. Could have, um, could have tapped, uh, the adjoining conduit. Some wiring. Okay. So now we have some stuff here. Can leave. We have some information here. So you have cryo lighting. So we can fix that with some parts. And we have a scrap of paper that reads the heated room. And we need stuff. I don't think we need these anymore once we have them. I think uh, our character just remembers them from here. HVAC heated. And the, where is it? Our character knows a lot more now. Look at this. He did, well actually I think we just know the same amount of stuff as before. I just haven't paid attention. I think some of these we, like medic, like since we have the, the medical thing, those are new. Some of these medic stuff. A box cart. There we go. There's something. We could make a box cart with the, uh, I think the mechanic tool. I guess it was mechanic. Cryo lighting. There it is. Yeah. But, uh, we can make stuff now. We have here water. We have some pants. Put those on. Those are shorts, I guess. Gray shirt. And a cornicola shirt. So 
So this gives us some information like making a shopping cart. Making a furry corpse. Oh wait. Food. Okay. And a weapon, bow, and compound. So that can be helpful. Knowledge of doing stuff like that now. We have some shitty rags. Let's put this over our face. And we have a disposable bag. Actually, two disposable bags, actually. We can make a shiv, probably, if we get enough uh, stuff. Let's take these. I want to see if we can make a shiv. Can I make a shiv? Shiv. Yes! Cool. Now we know how to make stuff. The character is becoming smarter. Put that there. Actually, let's do this so we can actually have room for a weapon. There we go. So it's something. There we go. Glass shiv, just in case. We don't need those anymore, though. Uh, sticks. Can't do anything with this. It's a gray shirt. That's actually really good. Having a shirt like that. Which has better condition. I guess this shirt. <laughs> That'll do. Can we scavenge the storage shed? Yes. There's nothing in there. It's worth a shot. Ooh. Can we view it? Oh, it's a feral dog. Okay. Uh, fall back. And it's chasing after me. Run away. Oh god. Desperate retreat. Retreat. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Step back. Test. Uh, I'm dying. Okay. Threaten it. Kill it. Feral dog is bleeding. Tackle the fucking dog. I'm dying. Parry. Lure it. I'm dying. Okay. Fucking beat the shit out of it. It's frail. Beat the shit out of it. Kill it. Flurry of attacks. Parry. Flurry of attacks. I'm fighting a dog. Okay. <sighs> what is this? Painkillers, anti- Take some fucking antibiotics. <sighs> Take some painkillers. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? It gave me a, a note. My shiv broke. <laughs> My shitty shiv broke. Okay. Well, I'll hang on to that for now. Ugh. Eh. Scavenge. Destroyed building. Most likely to get loot. 
right foot. Thank God. Bottles. I need these. Put the water in there. Who cares where it came from? String. Notes. A Goss rifle? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a Goss rifle. Uh, painkillers. Yes. Used painkillers. Okay. I don't need those then. Ah. Uh, yes. A coat. Keep the medium string. And full of bark. Uh, okay. I can use these. Okay. My blood supply is fine. My pain tolerance is going up. My immune system is going down now. Okay. Not the best situation. Found some stuff. More of these. More of these. Newspaper. Wait, what? What does this do? <laughs> what does this do in my hand? I, I can have newspaper in my hand. Okay. Paper bag. Keep the paper bag. Actually, can I put them together? No. Okay. That's fine. My immune system was boosted though as much as I, I could. That was a tough battle fighting that one dog. I don't think I can fight another one. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Go away. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, freedom. Alright, I need the rest here. Poison berries, nice. Those are poisoned. Okay. Well. I guess I could make a stick. Something. Uh, can I use trapping? It, it doesn't matter. Alright, cool. Make a sharpened spear. What else can I make? Oh, that's good. I can make a 4mm Gauss rifle with a strap. That's always nice. So I need caster wheels, a fireproof basket. Mechanical parts. Oh jeez. At least I have a sharpened spear. For me to stab my enemies with. My blood supply is going up. My pain tolerance is going up. My thing is still going down. Rapidly. Clean rags. Uh, okay. Not really good. Not bad either. There's some loot here. Some night vision goggles. Uh. Okay. Patrick Hyde tunic. That's helpful. 
I think I have that now, don't I? Yeah. I don't have uh, the gloves yet, but we're getting there. What is this, a medium battery sparker? Uh... On. On. Well, now I have night vision goggles for whatever reason. And here. Uh, my character's dying. Severe pain is having trouble concentrating and is fighting off an infection. Uh... Just, uh, just pop another painkiller in there. Just pop another. <laughs> Something you can really do, I guess. Uh, I guess, uh, rest and heal in, uh, thick, dense trees with no shelter. But at least you'll be able to heal slowly. Oh, and a guy with a gun? Uh... Take cover. Okay. For an easy attack. I'm just gonna fall back. Oh, he's coming towards me. Uh... Tackle him! Okay. He's... He's running away. No, he's, he's charging. Dodge roll. Uh, crawl away. Get up. Uh, parry. Oh shit. Parry. Fucking attack him. <laughs> what is he gonna do next? Uh, scratched and bleeding. He's barefoot. Uh, Perry. But it misses. Attack. Uh. He's a hunting rifle with a strap. <sighs> okay. Slashed. Bad mother. I'm like sick. Like, I'm doing this because I, like, I... is bleeding. I, I'm gonna have to parry because he's probably gonna try to attack me. Parry again. Attack. Now this movie's bleeding. Lure. Macked lower right arm with a rifle butt. Is he on the ground? No, he's not. Ah, uh, parry. Mother's bleeding. Attack him. Attack him. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna tackle me. That's his, or that was his last move. Okay, but he missed. I can kill him. Perry. He's vulnerable. Okay. Attack. Oh shit. My spear fell apart. Okay. Shit. Um. I guess I'll just have to do a fucking punch in his face. With a punch. I guess I'll fucking parry him. Or I'll try tackling him. I don't think it'll work. We're both fawn. I'm gonna get up. We're both up. Okay. I'm gonna dodge.
player's bleeding, big brother's bleeding. We're both bleeding. Who's gonna win? I think we... Did we both die? Demolishes the player's head with a rifle butt. Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, shit. <laughs> um... Alright, well. Rip. That was cool. Neo Scavenger. It's a fun game, but my god. It's hard. It's a hard game. You either get everything thrown at you, and you're just god tier, or everything wrong goes wrong, and then you're teased, or uh, like teased with good stuff, and then you, it gets ripped away from you, or uh, uh, you get good stuff, and then suddenly you're struck with uh, a, a, a disease that is impossible to cure, and then you die. Uh... So, <laughs> yeah, uh, overall, it's pretty epic. It's pretty fun, but, wow, it is a hard game. Hard. Hard as nails. So, if you want to pick it up, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Anyways. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna. Uh, sorry, I didn't end up doing Fallout 4. I did like that test stream. It was like lagging pretty bad. So I don't think my computer can handle streaming uh, said game currently. Uh, I want to see if maybe it's just. Maybe I just need to mod it better. I don't know. I'm working on it, so. Yeah. Uh, other than that, hopefully this was enjoyable. I'll figure something out for Wednesday. Uh, I hope you have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I will see you in the next one.